play, you know, we can play with anybody, you know. I just can't come out and say, you know, I knew we were going to beat them. I knew that we had paid the price to beat them. You looked like you were just a determined man. I mean, you're on a mission, right? I was. I told Coach at the end of the game, let's just run ball screens. And, you know, he believed in me, the team believed in me to make plays, and, you know, we executed down the stretch. How much did y'all feed off the crowd? Uh, I mean, a lot. A lot. I don't think the crowd helped us, you know, those guys are very talented, but at the end of the day, they, they also freshmen, and, you know, that was a hostile environment out there for a freshman. Brandon? It looked like you were afterwards saying to people in the stands, I told you so. You know, well, actually, I had a couple of my friends that, you know, it was like, like you like you imagine everybody was making this out a big deal with me and John and Gus and that and the other, and let, let's just be honest, nobody gave us a chance, but that's what I told you so come from. Brandis, what's going through your mind when you stepped in the line 10 seconds left, knowing one tonight's right there? Just uh, <clears throat> take my time, just uh, try to take everything out of the pitch and just me in the basket, and uh, I'm just taking it one side at a time. Kevin, you, you didn't shoot real well, 9 of 29. How tough was their defense to get around? Yeah, I mean, defense was pretty good, but we were just talking in the locker room. I missed a lot of shots that I usually hit, so, you know, get them credit. You know, they played defense. Like I said, that, that didn't make me shy. You know, I was determined to win this game. I knew my team needed me to score, so I couldn't get gunshot. Yeah, in a loss like you guys had in Florida, might you know it might crush a lot of teams. How did you guys get past that and rebound so quickly? We took it as a stepping stone. You know, we kept saying that we feel like you know we was we was right there to you know being being the team we knew we could. So you know, we we really just took it as a stepping stone. Brandon, how big is this just to to have this win, get back to 500 in the league, and really, you know, kind of wipe away these last three games? Oh, well, it's real big. Uh, you know, obviously, it's going to give everybody, you know, confidence going into the next game. And, uh, it's big. It's, it's not only big for the, the players, but also the university. So uh, we're expecting, you know, packed out Saturday too. Dad, you mentioned um, you told Coach to go ball screen a lot. I noticed that you're playing off the ball a lot, and you guys are playing deeper into the shot clock. That by design? Uh, it is, you know, um, them, their team likes to get up and, you know, it's just 100 miles an hour, run up and down, you know, we want to slow it down a little bit, execute in the half court offense, you know, and just don't get into a running game, get a running on gun game with it. Brandis, coach said earlier this week, on Wednesday, he said he needed somebody else to help out there. It looks like you have to call for that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I just wanted to be aggressive. I knew that they were going to key in on Devin and uh, face guard him, and I wanted to pick my spots. And, uh, you know, when I had opportunities to drive and tap the basket, I wanted to do that. I wanted to mix it up a little bit. They, uh, the whole game, they were screaming, you know, shoot and shoot it. So I wanted to attack and do some other things. Devin, can you talk about what this does for your all season? The season's not over. Um, this might sound crazy, but, you know, we're going to enjoy this tonight. You know, got a day off and Thursday. It's time to get back to business, you know. We, we still feel like all our goals are in front of us. So, we just, you know, to, to me it's motivation, you know. I, I wish we had practice tomorrow so we can get in there and work a little harder because, you know, a win, like, a win like this really does something to the team, you know, to be the number one team in the country. It's not it's not about beating them. You know, some people just never had the opportunity to play a number one, so that's why it's special. So much talk about John Wall recently. How much did either of you or both of you take that as personal motivation tonight? Um, it's not a shot at John anything, but I mean, you guys know me. I think I'm the best player every time I step on the floor, so it's really nothing to me. I've known uh, I've known the kid for a while, so I mean, I didn't buy into all the hype. I've seen him play back when he was like in ninth grade. So I mean, I've seen him for a while. He's from North Carolina. He played against my little brother, so I knew him. So I wouldn't buy into it. <laughs> Does being on a floor with this mass of humanity a dream for both of you guys? It feels sort of surreal when it happens. It's what I can't hear. When not everybody rushed to court, did you sort of, was it like a lifelong dream, you know, that you're finally in that? Actually, I told the security they got to do that. Um, if I'm mistaken, you know, I don't know if the sport would be the number one in any sport. If I'm mistaken, so, you know, it's the first time ever, you know, you, you, you got to let, let the fans enjoy that. You know there's a fine. 
I mean, I'm pretty sure the university got some money somewhere to pay the fine. And this may be a stretch, guys, but uh, Obama today sort of told Kentucky, uh, he asked who they're playing next, and they said South Carolina, and he said, well, you should be all right there. I'm wondering if you guys were aware of that. Yeah, I'm aware, but I'm kind of scared to mention something about that's the president. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to have nobody knocking at my door. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say about Obama. <laughs>